Hi guys, so today's video is going to be my TBR for the month of October. Since October has Halloween in it, a lot of my books are honestly kind of centered around that. I'm not a big Halloween person. I'm not like one of those people that goes to Halloween parties or anything like that, but I just feel like it's the perfect time to read some of these books. The first one would be A Strange Practice by Vivian Shaw. This is going to be the buddy read for the month of October, which you still can sign up for. I'll have the video for that linked down below and then up in the cards. And this book follows a girl who's inherited her family's practice of basically being a doctor for undead like creatures like mummies and that sort and all of a sudden there are these crazy monks going around and killing a bunch of the undead and in order to kind of save her practice and then also maybe to prevent herself from being in danger she has to kind of get to the bottom of it. I think it sounds like so much fun. I did want to read this last October and didn't get around to it but I've heard good things and I know that there's a sequel out already so I really want to get around to this one and if I have time and I really like it maybe pick up the next one. The next book was in the running for being the buddy read but ultimately that one strange practice ended up winning but the other one that was in the running was Cadaver Queen. The author for this one is Elisa Quitney and it follows this girl who gets accepted into a medical school and she comes across a faulty biomechanical which are these cadavers that are almost like servants at the school they're just robots basically but she finds one that isn't really acting the way most of the robots act most of these biomechanicals are very obedient and they don't really have a lot of their own thoughts and she finds one that seems very self aware and then she starts to put pieces together and realize it might be one of the students who mysteriously died at the school. I'm actually really excited because a lot of times with my TBRs I have a lot of bigger giant fantasy books and these ones are fantastical in a way but they're smaller and they just seem more fun and mysterious and kind of creepy and I just feel like both of these, this one and Strange Practice, they just seem like they're going to be the perfect October reads. In the spirit of picking up very fun October reads, I am going to get back into the Dresden Files series. So I actually had Dresden, I, I've had Dresden on my TBR for the past couple months, and this last month in September, I went to pick up the books, and then I was thinking I don't really remember a lot of the things that transpired in these because I have just spend so much time away from them. So I actually went back to the third one and I was kind of going through the third one again. But I want to pick these back up and I actually want to read a few of them because I've heard a lot of you guys who are Dresden Files fans tell me that there are so many little details that Jim Butcher puts in the first few books and a lot of those details come into play later. And I don't want to miss out on those because I've spent so much time away from the series, so I really want to get back in the series and I want to read multiple books in the Dresden Files. The last couple books that I would like to get to in October I don't actually have yet because they're newer releases, but one of them would be Vengeful by V.E. Schwab. I read Vicious quite a while ago, so hopefully I can go right into Vengeful and not have forgotten too much. I'm usually pretty good about remembering most of the stuff that happens, and I do feel like Vicious definitely, the marketing team did a fantastic job of kind of reestablishing Vicious because I read that book before I feel like it was as popular and I definitely enjoyed it and I remember going to an author event where V.E. Schwab talked about how she actually had plans to make it a trilogy and I remember thinking like oh that'll be so cool I hope that works out I hope that it ends up becoming a trilogy. So I'm really excited that finally she's able to get that second book out. I don't know for sure if I'll be able to get to it because right now the brand it's a brand new release so it's pretty pricey and it's one of those books that I don't mind either getting from the library or waiting a while to pick it up. If they don't have it at the library, I might not read it in October, but fingers crossed that they'll have a copy and I can read it in October. The last book I want to read in October is also a brand new release, but it's one that, if I'm being really honest, I actually really did enjoy the first one, so I don't I don't want to wait to uh, to find that one on sale. So I went ahead and I splurged a little, and I actually bought this really beautiful edition of Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. The really beautiful edition isn't here yet because I pre-ordered it, and it might not even get here until a few weeks into October, but I, I can definitely see why some people wouldn't be a huge fan of Strange the Dreamer, the first one. And then I can also see why some people think it's like the most marvelous piece of young adult fantasy they've ever read. I can see both sides and the reason is because the writing style is very distinct and the book is a little strange. To me it kind of feels like a modern fairy tale. I don't mean modern as in the story takes place in modern day, but modern in that 
We have all these grim fairy tales that a lot of Disney movies are inspired by and things like that. And those old fairy tales, some of them are really bizarre and very strange and very weird. And I feel like Lainey Taylor, she just has that kind of that kind of spark in her and that gets reflected, I think, in her stories. They're always very unique. They're always very different. And her writing is very whimsical and magical and to the point where I think sometimes it's so much so that it can put, it can, it, some people don't really like it. I did do a whole non-spoiler review for that book. If you're interested, I'll have that linked down below. But I did, I did end up enjoying the first one quite a lot. It's very different. It's not like anything I've really read before. There are some tropes that mm, some people might not love, but I don't want to say what those tropes are because I don't want to give anything away. But I did ultimately enjoy that first one quite a bit. So. I do plan on reading Muse of Nightmares. That's it though for my October TBR. I know for some of you who are probably huge fans of thrillers and horror books, when I said that I was planning on reading books that were kind of centered around the whole idea of Halloween or just things being creepy, you were probably expecting stuff like that. And I have nothing like that because those kinds of books, they freak me out. I'm kind of a wimp. But I am really, really excited for the books that I have on my upcoming TBR. I just feel like they're all gonna be so much fun but anyway let me know what books you have on your october tbr let me know if you guys have any fun plans now that it's going to be fall and hopefully where you live it's starting to cool off where i live it's like becoming somewhat bearable regardless i hope you all have a great rest of your day and i'll see you guys later bye